Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about the self excited generator, the types of the self excited generator. There are three types series generator, session generator, and the compound generator. So, first we will see about the series generator. So, this is the part of the self excited generator. What is self excited generator? If in a DC generator, if in a DC generator field winding is supplied from the armature of the generator itself, then it is called the self excited DC generator. Yes or no? Second point residual flux is present in the poles when the armature is rotated, a small EMF is produced. A small EMF is produced in the armature winding because of the residual flux. Third point this EMA produces a small field current in the field winding then the flux per pole increases means the increased flux means the increased flux that is induced EMF which further increases the field current last point the self excited DC generator this is the self excited DC generator this is one of the type is shown here next we'll see see here that the field winding is connected in series with the armature this type of DC generator is called the DC series generator then the armature current flows through the field winding as well as the load next point the field winding has less number of turns of the thick wire it has low resistance it is denoted by the RSE RSE here the armature field and load are all in series so they carry the same current of course we see here that it is it is drawn here like that yes or no this is the load yes or no so that i a is equal to i s is equal to i l so generated emf equations can be written like that e g is equal to v plus that is terminal voltage plus i a r a plus i a r s a where v is the terminal voltage in volts IARA is equal to voltage drop in the armature resistance IARSE is equal to voltage drop in the field winding resistance also I have written in the words you can see it V IARA and IARSE next the terminal voltage we have to find out that is the terminal voltage that is the V is equal to from the above equations we can find out if you are writing the V is equal to EG minus of IARA minus of IASC same thing we written here next power developed in the armature P is equal to EG into IA next power developed to the load is equal to V into IA or V into IL because IA and IL both are same that's why for the not creating any type of confusion I written both the formulas that is V into IA or V into IL. Thank you.